Hi guys, welcome to a brand new series, and this is Rebuilding Portsmouth. Now, as you know, what I did in Football Manager 14, or at least I tried to do, in fact we did pretty well with it, was we took Fulham back from the Championship using an extended database and whatnot, and took them back to the Premier League. Now, Portsmouth is obviously slightly more of a challenge, and when you look at that diagram, I mean, Jesus, that is like... Like, you know things are going bad for a team when the diagram of their recent league history looks a little bit like a roller coaster that might scare you if you went on it. Like, usually it should look like, I don't know, a really, really... It should look like Holland. Like, just flat. Lovely. Or Lincoln shit. That's what you want. No, that looks like a bloody scary ride. And they've had a really rough time of it lately, Portsmouth, with all their consecutive relegations. Coming down from that eighth place finish in the Premier League, I mean... It's such a shame to see a club like Pompey fall so far. Now, this is my first series for Football Manager 2015, and it's going to be... Obviously, I'm still finding my way around the game. I've only had a chance to really play a little bit of it so far, so I'm kind of learning as I go along here. I do like some features of it. I do like some of the layouts. Some bits I'm a little bit iffy on. Um, I do have my logos and kit packs and all that sort of stuff now put into the game. I've also got a license fix which is useful because the german teams were just ridiculous like genuinely um schalke are called gelsenkirchen and i think that's because schalke are actually based in gelsenkirchen but jesus like it's ridiculous and i needed to change that before i could start my st pauli series as well because they're called something ridiculous as well so this is not about that though this is about portsmouth and i really i was looking forward to doing this because pompey are a club that don't deserve to be down here basically but now that they've got a decent structure behind them they've still got a lot left in place that i think can help get them back to some semblance of normality and the plan for this series is to get and get is to get them back to the premier league and maybe even beyond that depending on how things are going with the series and just whether we want to continue it after we can get them back and keep them up for a year that's the plan basically we might take them even further than that it just depends but the rebuilding job starts now now then as you can see we have well i'm using this as my uh moniker for this year because why not so let's take a look at well let's start with the squad let's go into tactics have i even no i haven't even built a tactic yet um don't worry i'm gonna do that i'm thinking that we're probably gonna do something a little bit similar to the tactic i used in my fulham career uh in my fulham save but that was when I got off the internet, whereas this is... I'm going to build my own one this time. I'll make some changes and try and build it so we can be successful on my own. Build the tactics. Now, we'll need your guys' help with that. So, if you can think of a good tactic that we could try with Portsmouth, then feel free to let me know. I'm thinking a 4-2-3-1 kind of system with complete wing-backs bombing on. That a similar kind of system, but maybe change things up a little bit with some of the roles that we can use because i want to try out some of these new roles that have been put in the game and maybe see if we can work something out with that so since we don't have a tactic and i'm going to build one uh, i've literally done nothing i've literally loaded it up and now i'm built doing this episode for you guys just so we can get this out there and start getting going with this and the same will go for the st Pauli series now most of you will know pretty much a reasonable amount about ports so you don't need me to explain they were fa cup winners in 2008 and have been horribly mismanaged by the likes of peter story and uh is it Usman? no there was a Ar there was another guy i think his name was arcadia or something like that um but if you're a pompey fan let me know exactly what happened because i am genuinely um i was gutted when i heard what was happening to pompey and they don't deserve it so we're going to try and get that glory back right now let's go look at the actual teams this is something that's new the way that the squads are now down here it actually i find it quite useful but it's a little bit more difficult to get to in some other respects in the sense that in order to like adjust the training schedules for the under 21s i had to go into here and find it under this and i didn't know that that's where it was so it took me a long time to figure that out right let's go on to assistant report so we can have a look at what sort of players we've got on the team best players paul jones good keeper looking at paul robinson now is this one of the paul robinsons that no sorry there's been so many damn paul robinsons that's is he like the third paul robinson that there exists because there was the hard man like defender paul robinson who i believe is older than this guy there's blackburn goalkeeper paul robinson and there's this guy as well but we've got this guy on loan from millwall and he's a pretty decent defender so he he's 
decent. I'm assuming he's a lone of Pompey in real life as well. Jed Wallace, though, this guy looks amazing. He's 20 years old. He's a diff- he's a right-sided midfielder, but I'm pretty certain he can play further up as well. Yeah, and I'm probably going to put him in that position because look at these stats. For a 20-year-old, this guy's got some real quality and he's going to be huge for us this, this year, basically. I'm hoping anyway. James Dunn, he's going to play that ball-winning midfield role that I like to use. I'm thinking, ooh, Danny Hollands. Can he play further up? Yeah, he can. Okay, cool. So... I don't want to play two box. Oh, we can play box to box. I wanted to use a box to box midfielder this time around though. So maybe he could be that man. Uh, Nicky Shorey is obviously a great defender and has had a long career. Craig Westcar is a striker and he's probably our best striker. Yeah. Ryan Taylor, another striker. That's good to see. Ben Chorley, a good defender. David Connolly, is he still playing? How old is he? 37 years old. Wow. I'll tell you what though. It's got some pretty decent stats in certain areas of the pitch. 19 penalties well we know who our penalty taker is we might just have to get him on if i feel like we're going to win some penalties because christ on a bike he has got some ability but probably yeah interesting so that's miles story oh hang on yeah nikki shory and miles story so that's going to be a little bit confusing for me uh jack watmer i've heard a few things about him as well he's meant to be an incredibly talented youngster wow wow he looks like carlos valderrama in a, in a great, great, great way. Um, maybe it's his long-lost brother. Is this Alan Valderrama? It could well be. Um, we've got a few other pretty decent players. Ricky Holmes. There's a few injured as well. We've got Angie Mangs out injured. Ryan Taylor. Ricky Holmes. Alex Winter. Now, when you look at the squad depth, which we're going to do, like, this right side, I could probably do with trying to sign a right back. We do have some transfer budget, so there's no problem in us doing that. Left side, again, could probably do with a backup to Nicky Shorey as well. Not something special, but just someone that can fill that role. In the middle, I think Watmer's going to be amazing, so I think we're going to leave that as it is. We probably don't need to sign anyone in that middle area. Um, in the centre, Holland, Dunn. Maybe could do with another centre mid. Jed Wallace, Westcar decent players we've got some decent ones so that's not really much of a problem now let's just take a look at this transfer funds that we've got 50k that is not a lot of money at all 50 i suppose it's down at this level so if you've got any ideas for players that we could bring in um then let me know and i'll either if i don't get it done because I've already recorded other episodes before I see them, then I'm sorry, but we will have a look in January. I'll save some of this money, because I just genuinely don't know. I've That's not a lot of cash, but hopefully we can bring in some freeze. Now, this is the new scouting system, and I've looked around it a little bit. What we can do is we can do a quick search here, where we basically say, right, we want to find a first-team player that can play, well, what did I want? I wanted a right-back, didn't I? So we wanted a right-back, uh, well, leave it as any role for now, and we go next, and it will basically then look for players with that attribute and here's what we have got so we've got likes of jb peters who's this canadian guy here who has already been scouted to a certain extent i'm guessing so we can have a look on transfer uh oh no not transfer reports here we go scout report uh i assume we can get him for free then quite a bit of money and wages though but he would definitely be a lot better than alex winter so we might have to have a look at trying to sign him john old i remember him didn't he used to play for liverpool at one point he again it's going to take so got also something else that i've noticed is that you'll see this here the knowledge level they'll actually learn more stuff it's not just an instant scouting report thing so that's quite a cool feature of the game as well so basically we're going to look i'm going to go away i'm going to try and sign some of these players maybe have to bring in someone on loan i don't know and i will join you guys back here uh, on the first day of the season and we'll go through some of the transfers we'll also go through some of the Preseason friendlies, and I'll show you who we're actually playing in preseason. We've got West Brom, Birmingham, Fulham, Bradford, and that's it. In fact, um, I might try and arrange a couple more friendlies. I'm not sure before our first game of the season, which is away at Exeter, and then we've got Brighton in the uh, League Cup. So that's going to be a toughie against Championship opposition. And but we do have a few home games. I don't know. I'd like to see how well we can do. We are the favourites for promotion, and that is to be quite a lot of pressure on me. So hopefully we can not fail, especially when I'm using my own tactic and with the beta, anything can happen. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, 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 it's completely slipped my mind, but we're going to come back in the next episode and we'll talk through the transfers and so, oh, that's right. Yeah. Basically this, this game round, uh, like this year, I suppose, what we're going to be doing is in each episode, once we actually start the season properly, we're going to be profiling a player in the sense that I will be 
showing you his attributes. I'll pick one player out of the team and show you his attributes. That way you can see if there's been any improvements in players. I'll generally go for younger players or players that people have interested. So you can tell me what sort of players you want to see the attributes for so we can talk about them specifically. And I'll pick one for every episode so we can see how they... Uh, how they how they develop yeah that's the right word for it and we'll so that way we can track them over the course of the series and it will give us more stuff to put in the episodes i'm still looking at the idea of doing live comms but from what i've seen so far of playing some 3d matches in it my computer just about handles it smoothly with the 3d matches so i'm not entirely sure but we, we will have to see i'm going to do some tests next week to see if i can do live com games i really don't know if that's going to be the case then anyway if you like what you've seen and you want to see more of this then that's awesome hit that like button and if you're just excited for 115 and excited for the new series hit the like button as well and subscribe to see all kinds of cool new stuff and my other series which will be the lunchtime upload which i will be well you might have in fact you'll have already seen that so yeah awesome and i will see you guys in episode two on the start of the season Bye bye